Rosanna Stroll is going at it. Toe to toe. Oh. And some bullets have been dodged today, I think Harry Russell might say. Yes, indeed, Trace. Yes, indeed. And, well, it's that map that we all love, the one with the trains on it. What, Overpass? What's it called? Hang on. Oh, yes. oh yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, that's, that's the one. The one. Yeah, Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. And, well, you couldn't pass this one over. As NIP, they need this map. They really, really do if they want to keep this series alive. Psych. I hear typing. It's Taco Tuesday! <laughs> Thanks, Trace. You said psych, so I just had to... Anyway. Yeah, how are you doing, man? Let's talk about Ooh, you. Oh, no. Let's, yeah, I like that let's one. Not. You go, let's talk about your entire life starting from the moment you were made. Which moment? What was it like being born? <laughs> <laughs> How much detail can you give us on the fact? Don't have a lot of memory on that one, sadly. Actually, maybe not sadly. Maybe that's a good thing. <laughs> We're going to stay ignorant <laughs> of the fact. Well, still waiting for the pistol round to go live, of course. We don't know. I like this. I like that we have some time now. It's kind of like limbo. Yeah, you know, like limbo. Like, like, like rush limbo. You know in Inception where they get stuck in like the sixth or seventh dream layer? You know, that's where yeah. we are right now. Ah, interesting. Hmm. I think. Wow, yeah. Spin so a bottle cap. Dreams, figure out if this is real. Yeah, I mean, basically at this point, we're just waiting for the matchup to get underway. Um, and you are as well, which is why you have to be hearing our voice. Unless you're at work and you're hiding this from your boss or employer. I have to say, I don't approve of such behavior, but also thanks for tuning in and risking your job. We've for all us. been there. You know, like I remember back when I was in university, I'd, I'd just have streams up uh, while I was sat there, like, you know, oh, what's what's this? I, yeah. Hold on, I'll tell you what's going on, guys, if you want to know. Okay. Somebody's PC crashed. Classic. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay. Yeah, to be honest, Trace, you're actually right. I mean, we've all been there. I, I watch Counter Strike during my job every day, uh, actually. Have been doing it all week. <laughs> no one that can stop me. <laughs> womp, womp, womp. Uh, dude, this soundboard was a worthwhile investment. <laughs> dude, I'm really glad that we got it. 100K every time. 100K every time? Yep. Play some more stuff, man. Thought, Let's see how much we can dig this hole. You thought Bruce Buffer was getting paid. No, 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 no. Bruce Banner? Yes, Bruce Banner. <laughs> Bruce Banner? Oh, man, you guys are pathetic. Anyway, that is just about the state of emotion there in the NIP camp as we are waiting to get things back underway. It's probably how they felt after that first map of Dust 2 did not go their way. Rez, however, did come to play today, and that's something that we're going to keep our eyes on as this develops inside of Train. Let us know how you're watching, and I don't mean join the fan cams. I mean, you can, but uh, just tweet it at us. It's really that easy. We might even show it right here live on air while this PC's crashed indefinitely. So whose PC is it? Do we really want to go that far? I, I want to go shame. that far. I like, I like knowing what's going on in my server, okay? Oh. I pay for this. Oh. Yeah. My sir, you say? Huh, interesting. Um, Someone kicks the ball uh, over the hedge into Harry's server. He deflates it in front of them. It's his server. He pays for it. That's true, man. And then I eat the scraps as well. Did you eat Just the to really, ball? yeah, dude. Nice. Well, it tastes like yeah, there's leather in it. So, is it? It's like a, like a pleather, like a plastic leather. Yeah, so it's better for you if anything. Than yeah, I think it's more leather. like you know bio friendly or something like that oh, anyway man. look at the studio man it's pretty sweet i do love all of this right like we got the the pixelated screen going on in the background and then we have like a bit of s tag showing up so That's... let's just try and like stay away from controversy hugo <laughs> um <laughs> okay. why do you think dc is better than marvel I actually Ooh. don't like superhero movies. I think, oh. Oh, wow, more Mar Actually, I, yeah, I do think that. I do think DC's better than Marvel, actually. Oh, there very you strong go. differing yeah. opinions yeah. right yeah. off. I don't the really very... care because oh. I don't like superhero movies. But there what you go. is it that you don't like about them specifically? I, I think I just don't like Marvel movies. Okay, well, Hugo, I'll hit you one with you might know an answer to. Okay, out of you know, uh, I guess it would be Ronaldo and Messi. Like, if you had to go that route, if you really wanted to upset a fan base, yeah. Which route would you say is the weaker of the routes out of the two players? Which would you say is the weakest out of Ronaldo and I could Messi? probably answer this for Hugo on his yeah. behalf. Well, we could let him do it no, himself. No, be, I right. think Harry's going to hit the nail I on the head. I say, so Hugo actually hates football as yeah. is. Ah. I has never watched it. So in his eyes, uh, Ronaldo and Messi, they're just probably like the same in that he doesn't really care about either. Yeah. So what do you think then, Harry? What do I think? Oh, man. Ronaldo number one. That's what I'm saying. I don't watch okay. football either, but... But just got to bandwagon it somewhere. He might yeah, but well, you got to pull my chips on one color, right? Like, I'm not a gambling man, but if, if that's what it's come down to, I just got to... <laughs> I mean, for me, it's more of like Ronaldinho. But I guess yeah. 
we can all be dinosaurs in our own rights. And speaking of which, the dinosaurs are extinct, and so is this timeout here very shortly. We're we'll oh, jumping nice. back into the game. It's just about a minute left here, maybe less, maybe more. Who knows? Hugo, you have the floor. It's pretty clean. All right. And that's Hugo with a floor report. No, but in all reality, it's just one where Nip has to bounce back. We already talked about their, yeah, their playoff contentions and how they've done in this season so yeah. far, and it hasn't necessarily been there. Do yeah, you want to speak, Harry? Yeah, man, yeah, I wouldn't speak. mind it. Um, you know, it's... <laughs> yeah, no, that's the thing, right? So we got NIP, we got Astralis. These are two teams that we all know. We all love them. What if if I you don't? love them, you wear them, right? That's <laughs> we? what we say. Um, and that's, you know, Astralis, they, they come into the day, they're looking really, really quite scary, especially Magisk, who's looking to do right by this brand new jersey that he's wearing. And boy, oh boy, did he make a bit of a lasting impression back on Dust. Now, Astralis, I don't know how they're always managing this, but they still haven't shown us much in terms of their map pool, you know, and like some of the maps that we do know they yeah. lean towards are Nuke, Dust, Train. Well... In this series, we got Dust and Train. So that's where things get pretty... Uh, Is that a friend of yours, Dust and Train? Dust and Train, yeah. Man. Nice. <laughs> He's a good good guy. Uh, shout out one time, Dust Moret. Old Dusty Moretti. If you see him, add him on Twitter. We should be jumping back into the game now. Yes, the free time it has come through. The officials in my ears. Once it hits the ever coveted Omega Lowell, that's when we can begin the round again. Begin the game. Get us back on track for what is a pistol round here between Astralis and Nip on the second map of the series. Train. Yeah, for a lot of teams, I would say it doesn't bode well starting on this T side being a map down, but that's actually exactly where I want NIP, right? Their chance to show us what they got in this map. Hampers, very aggressive on this T side. We're going to see him out T-Con a lot, playing those smokes and being a nuisance. Will Astralis be ready for it? Will they allow it? Well, those are questions we are yet to know the answers to. It's a smoke on B for S Tag. He's joined by Device on Upper. And IP, they are going to take over this B bomb site, lining up utility as we speak. Twist has a molly. Will that be a post plant play or to clear out the site instead? Device, now's your time. Psych. Psych? It's Rez with a Glock. He takes down Device first. It's going to be an easy bomb plant for Knock. We're going to see Nip. Set up in a pretty sweet position to win this pistol round here. And let's see if Glaive and company can take it back. He's going to be hard charging it with the 5.7. Looks around the bomb train. But they are all just laying in wait. Twist just dumps the Molotov from outer space. And the, so far, the kills have gone on the way in Nip's way. And they're going to continue to do just that. Plopsky might even end the round out. He does. S-Tag last the fall. So Nip cleanly pick up a pistol round. And Plopsky is already halfway there to beat his score <laughs> from Dust 2. And that is a much better start. You know, like, obviously, I'm kind of joking around when I say that, but it is a fact, and that's how numbers work. And scary thing about facts, man, is there's no arguing with them. Right? Unless they're alternative facts. Alternative facts. Always man. known as lies. Also known as not necessarily facts or the truth. Yeah, but I think when you put it that way, like, that's how people get so confused, you know? Like, yeah, like, is this live or is this not live? Is this a rerun? It's, it's live, guys. Don't worry. Oh, so it's the live rerun. Got it. Big nade coming out. Nox's going to catch it. Ooh. He's not the only one taking damage. Hampus, Plopsky, they're already gone. Look at these oh, deagles no. are doing oh, damn no, work for Astralis. And it just continues oh, to hurt. No. S-Tag wants some of his own. Twist recovers an AK, and it's going to be just two AKs alive against five here for Astralis. Roundland has gone horribly wrong for Nip. Astralis did this back on Dust after 10 5 the half. They lost their CT pistol. They forced and they won six in a row to close it. We didn't even get to see NIP's T side. Luckily, there's still plenty more rounds to be played in this first half, but this is not the start that NIP needed if they want a good T side on train. One of the few maps that actually does remain pretty CT sided right now. Rez trying to get out T-Con. Looking for a kill before he commits, but nothing's being given over in this five on two. Very safe. Device is going to swing for one shot, nothing more. He hits twist. Man, IP, they've got control, but they're walking into a four man setup with a pop flank on the fifth. No way of getting out. Mm. Dupree with the scout, and now it's on to Rez. Yeah. Ugh. My oh my, it's flawless. Yeah, a disaster. keep all five alive as well as win the force fight. I don't know, man. That's a little bit scary. Uh, some fast eagle work from Dupree and S Tag to start to get that all kind of topsy turvy.
And so, yeah, you know, we were just saying, great start for NIP. Well, now, rough start for NIP as they lose that <laughs> follow-up round. They're relegated down to pistols and armor here. They're going to maybe uh, culminate in a B play. I would love for that. You know, like, it's very consistent to get the bomb down over towards that side of the map. And I don't know, man, after how the last day take went when you're up against pistols, I ain't loving it just yet. But it won't be a B play. They're going to send guys down towards Ivy. They've got some back in main. And Magisk has already done a bit of chip damage there with that scout. I just got a tweet in from Young Sponge. Young Sponge, man. What a guy. Using the hashtag ESL Pro League, I was able to see this tweet. Not to mention that he tagged me in it. But the point is, he showed me I was watching the game. Looks pretty cozy. Trace almost always farming those interactions. Well, not really, but if you wanted to interact with me, that's at Stun on Twitter. Now, don't follow me. Whatever you do, do not follow me on any social media accounts. I don't post. Really terrible at that whole thing. Speaking of posting up, it's going to be Nip to have to do that. Need a straws to make a an oopsie here. Free smoke on Ivy comes at the perfect time as well. It might even have to go through it. Two CTs here, though. Oh, dear, Glade, that's a lot of damage. Oh, the bomb has even been dropped as well. And through this smoke, device has the cover. <laughs> NIP, they've lost the bomb. It's all about kills at this point, and good luck getting through. Glade with a passive line, device helping out. There's two man setup on Ivy. Another smoke spam. S tag helps out with that, though. And Hampers alone in a one on four. That's a nice shot, but at this point, the round's done. Look at him go. Look at him go, man. Astralis. Currently in full control here, two to one. That's on the back of collecting some free AKs in a round where they went flawless. Yeah, and this is the same thing that, that swept NIP out of their T side on dust as well, right? Like this, this lead off the back of the, the force that has to come through for NIP, right? You never see anyone eco that round if you lose to a second round force. You just continue the war until you lose back to back rounds and it comes early for NIP as well. No football to kick around in T spawn this time. So they're going to run boost, not to the most success. And dear, oh dear, while well, they're messing around, his spawn glaives coming to them. He's pushed Ivy and taking down Twist, spotting two more and the bomb too. Astralis not giving any room for NIP on this anti eco. They want it to be done quick and clean. I mean, so clean that Nip, they try to like triple, quadruple swing Ivy and there's just no one there. Just some Glocks though, so range would have been an issue. I want to know the name of this song that plays up here. It's jamming, man. Where else is their music? There's there's Inferno, Inferno, Inferno T Spawn, uh, Overpass, Overpass, yeah, the nightclub. There yeah. once upon a time was this map known as Italy. Ah, no, that's the country. <laughs> this device holding down the ramp, and uh, yeah, this is not going well. Obviously, only pistols for an IP. They do get churned out, like you were, like you would hope and expect. Oh, the radio jolted let's hear, around. Let's there. listen. Let's listen. Okay. Aww. It's the little, it's the little subtle beat in the background. Let me tell you, man, when that baby drops at the minute and a half mark, when the drop comes, that is, it gets so good. The cream de la creme. Nope. All right. So. <laughs> Here we go. Buy round for NIP. Back out of the woods and into the forest. Same thing, essentially. Astralis, they've got the, the AWP. Woods. And into the forest. It's the new out of the frying pan and into the fire. <laughs> the, the new off the grill and into the burner. <laughs> Here they go. Oh, Glaive. Oh, dear. Man. He goes out of the paper <laughs> shredder and into the wood chipper there down towards Ivy. Man, advantage. Not given over. Into this four on four. Out of the fax machine and into the scanner they go. Telegraphing it all the way. My Dupree doesn't know it yet. Ooh, that was Rez waiting on the other side.
Resmoker B, device could rotate outside right now, and he does, so gambling with this one, but it's uh, the right call for Astralis, who, while they've lost two players and killed one, they still uh, still seem to know NIP are coming from them at the A site. Two on Ivy, matches should work that out by the smoke, and the flash follows. He's off of it, Plopsky, great shot, and he really has stepped up since that last map. Six kills in the entirety. Well, he's on five in round five. Device stuck on the site, and they're coming from all sides as well. Above the train, Hampers dead. Plopsky swings Device with a second. Surely not. Can he save this on his own? S-Tag hasn't even been seen either. And okay. he's going to have the cover for the cross. Device is safe. And he's going to close it all out on yeah. his own. Three for uh, Device. And it's just out of the salt shaker into the pepper shaker. Just like uh, that. Yeah. Out of the pond into the ocean for the oh, side of man. NIP. This is, yeah, dude. This is looking a little rough. That's actually a good one. I might use that. Out of the pond into the ocean? Is that like maybe a euphemism for like maybe spreading your wings and flying out of the nest? That be a euphemism? I don't know that. I mean, <laughs> words now. Words now. Yes, of Not course. Exactly words now. the strongest now. And that's the thing, man. Like. <laughs> Wait, what? What's the thing, Harry? It's out of the Zoom meetings and into the fan cams as we move yeah. on over. There we go. We linked that back in. It took a while, but that's the nature of this sometimes. Astralis, they are not messing around. That was a two-on-four that they're just able to pick up and make look easy. Both players surviving. They get a fourth on the board, and it's a little bit worrisome now, the fact that that, that looked like yeah. a dead-to-rights round for NIP. And I just want to take this moment to maybe not, like, militarize all the viewers and the people that are using the fan cams, yeah, but hey. why not? Also, you know, Discord, I would love to have my account back, so perhaps <laughs> if we could do that at some point, that'd be nice. That'd be at Discord. Discord, hello. Are you there? Thank you. I know, Trace. The guy I paid a lot of money to to get that account taken away, he weren't messing around. So no, I'm not. I'm just, I don't know. I'm Bible thumped out of control on that one. I can't even lie to you all. Ooh, Ooh they're in Oh, yeah, yeah, for Dupree. He gets a little big for his boots. Oh. Help us having to jump back over. Molly going to force Glaive out of position. It's out of the pop oh, dog and into the A site for NIP. They deal with another. Magis trying to put up some numbers, but suddenly it's all fallen to him and S Tag, and they're getting wrapped faster than they're even ready for. S Tag all alone, dinked Ooh. on the jump from Plopsky. And at that point, you just hate it, don't you? You really hate it. The Mac 10 is in the air. You get double dinked down to like 20 points of health. And so NIP, they just overrun the A site. Yeah, that, that helps that they get gifted the kill of Dupree walking in, not realizing they'd already crossed to the left side as well. But NIP, those are the kind of rounds that you're expecting a lot of in this T side. Just smoke executes over the entire bomb site. Look at that, right? On, on every single aspect, cutting off device as much as they can with a smoke in the middle and, and one on either side, and then just, uh, you know, surrounding it. Fast out of main, in your face. Hamper's not leading the charge this time. They wait for the utility. Dupree takes pop, but it gets mollied on the ladder. And so Plopsky holds onto that position for a second and drop in after it as well. re molly back in for Dupree. He wants to trade sides and he's got his side under lock now. Device gone. Two twists on Ivy. Dupree's playing timing on both pop and main as well with his teammates smoked off on E-Box and uh, Sandwich and... Now on Ivy, there's nothing Astralis can see. NIP, with a man advantage, has fallen back into a passive setup. They're going to be lining up smokes in T-spawn. Propsy's going to try and sell a B-fake here by the looks of things, but Astralis aren't waiting around. They're taking control. Dupree peeks in main, and as soon as he appears, he disappears. Propsky doesn't sell his utility towards B. Instead, he comes back with the team through T-spawn. So full main execute. If Astralis hold on to this control, that could be good for them, right? Setting up an AWP close T-Con and then having a rifle patrolling it as well. But right now the AWP is gambling on inner with two for Astralis. If you had to see a B play, and they're convinced it's today, but that couldn't be further from the truth. Clave has to try and raise above it all. Ooh. He does do some damage. It falls to Dupree to hold the line and hold the line he shall. Players have gone by, but Ooh. Dupree just keeps putting up numbers and finally they deal with him. But it's all left on to Rez on the side of NIP. Now he had a great Dust 2 game and he needs to relive even a fraction of that here and now. He's trying to spot Magisk's AWP. The AWP sees him and S-Tag swings out from the connector. 
to solidify this lead for Astralis. They're not ready to give over consecutive rounds just yet. Yeah, timely rotation from that double B setup, but most importantly, it's Glaive dropping the right-click smoke in Tcon. You can see it there as Dupree lights them up. They have to push through it. NIP have thrown all their util into A at the same time that that smoke went down. So, you know, as soon as it fades, so does theirs. So no reason or, or you know, no reason but, uh, behind staying and waiting out the clock that was already ticking down. NIP had to commit and into Dupree they go. Yeah, and Armani F at a Fire Monarch says he's watching from his TI-84 calculator, so you know he's got the best quality. He's got the best seats in the house. You ever use a TI-84 calculator, guys? Yeah, I wonder if he's checking our checking our maths as well. I'd hope so. Fine. Somebody needs to start doing that pretty soon, because if it's not first to 16, then I don't know what it is. Magisk. First one with a kill in this round. He's going to take out Hampus with an AWP through the smoke, albeit. You do love to see that. If that's, a, that's a bit of a classic for NIP, right? Putting Hampus out behind these smokes and letting him try and wrap and, and get behind Bomb Train and be a, be a nuisance to find a couple of kills early. Astralis know what to expect from that. And they just wait out the smoke fades. Now a Molotov pushing Popsky into the open. He's going to trade, but Glaive catches Nork with the orb and Popsky will keep one back in the favor of NIP, not for long. And as soon as it appears, they disappear. It's Twist in the smoke and a one on three. Yeah, of course, NIP, they are playing that game where only one guy is allowed to get kills at a time by yeah. the looks of things right now. Back on Dust, it was Rez almost dropping 30 while the next nearest had sub 20. And here it's Plopsky. Now, no one else really arriving in the same way. And that would be a shame to see for Nip, right? If you get like a few star-studded performances, but only from one individual across both the maps in a series, so we need to just see a bit more from the rest of the gang here. Yeah, and you know, there's something to say about carrying your team to a loss. You know, it's a valiant effort. It's a, val a valorant effort at that. But it's just not enough. At this point, they need to figure out a little bit more in the strategy department, it seems. Or is Astralis just that damn good? I don't know. Hard to say. Yeah, that's the other problem, right? Is like... Astralis are only looking like they're getting better and better with each series that they're playing. And for NIP, I think one of the biggest things we have to look at is how does this squad do once they've been dealt a bit of a rough hand, you know? Because we've seen them on the build-up, but now we have to see them, you know, once you get pushed, <laughs> can you get back up? Yeah. That nade is pretty brutal. Brings down three of these players. The three rifle players, oh, that yep. looks scripted, actually, like with how that's gone it down. Is. It's injured the only three players that had guns into this round. And here comes the B push, but the flash is great. It leaves them blind. It's actually Hampus' flashbang that blind everyone on upper. Luckily enough, him and Plopsky have kind of helped out to get this back under control. One plant is going to come Ooh. in, but Magis deletes Plopsky, leaving Twist all alone in a 1v3. Yeah, it just seems favorable. And then in an instant, it's snapped back to reality and it's an awful, awkward clutch for NIP. Can Twist do it? He's been forced out by the smoke. No room to fight. In the open, he goes and Dupree takes him out. Matt just picking up the AWP as well. That just continues, man. We've had everyone except Dupree open in this series for Astralis so far. I mean, that was the case on the last map. That's not too late. Yeah, a waste time. And we know what Dupree can do with that AWP, picking it up at one point for device or over device a bit of a break but right now no breaks on this train astralis seven rounds on this ct side another b retake they've dealt with the a plays hampers hasn't been able to get any value out of getting fast from tcon the orp again is a slow starter on nork one and seven he has it back though again double orp for astralis two worth noting none of them are b device is going to go very aggressive into the olaf molotov is tickling it a little bit. Magis has his on Ivy as well. And we've seen this one two punch up on the Ivy side for Astralis before. And IP sending two players there waiting out the smoke. So much of this game has just been NIP having to decide whether to respect Astralis' utility or not. And right now, early in the round is a good time to hold and wait. Device taking in the attention, and Dupree can swing if NIP get into TCON. 
yeah, Device can also flash for Dupree as well, right? So it really makes the danger of this main play that much more prominent. The only hole for Astralis right now is that this uh, this Ivy side has been given up. And so with the CT smoke now falling from NIP, Device's attention is peeled away from main and back to Ivy. And while this is all going on, Pop Dog control has been taken by NIP. They're actually in a very good spot. Magisk is rotating back around to help out at Ivy. And so timing is everything here for Astralis. Magisk is here in time. And so now Device is freed up to help inside of the A site. 35 seconds. And this rotation from Magisk has just given so much more freedom to Device and Dupree. And when you give a guy like Dupree freedom, you're asking for trouble. Here he is holding on to main with a double. And that leaves Twist and Nork up against it all, but Twist, he's dishing out deaths in high supply right now. Bomb plant gonna come in for NIP. And s tag spamming in the connector gives away his position. Now they know Magis there with the kill onto Twist. And it's left onto Nork. One kill to his name currently. And a 1v2 to find. S tag gonna get caught messing about with utility, oh, yeah. but it's not pretty from Nork either. There's the shot to Magis we were looking for. And now trying to play the running game with S tag. S tag high oh, in no. the sky, flying in, looking for this kill up and over. He's charging down Nork. What is going on? S tag's up again now. He's down. Where's Nork even meant to be? What? S tag is everywhere. <laughs> I, I think. We're going to have to watch that from perspective of S-Tag. He's going to get this defuse. That must have been some real gymnastics there from the young fella. Yeah, we know his movement's sick. He's so often used as like a bait for Astralis on like nuke ramp, right? Running down, hopping out, and just being uh, annoying, trying to draw attention away. But I think that kill was on the ladder. Maybe I'm wrong. We only saw the tippity top of S-Tag's head, but it was enough to get the kill. Watch Let's this. look at this. He's everywhere. Oh, no, he just landed on the top, but Dio did. That was fast. S-Tag hunting him down, and the Molotov causing commotion, causing chaos for Nork. That's a sad round for Nork. He, he gives it his best try. He just can't hit the shots with S-Tag flying through the air. Nork waited so patiently on Ivy for Magis repeat that never came through. Fast down main, denied again. Pampers, he doesn't even make it to the sandwich smoke this time. It's Magis crossing pop with a kill. Glaive does get traded. We got a Krieg. I've not seen this in a while. Yeah, that's wow. gross. Get that's, that out uh, of here. That's an ancient relic of times gone by. Nork trying to pay tribute to a meta that died a very grim death. One that but, was deserved. Yeah, it was necessary. Of all things that deserved the necessary death, it had to go. Oh, Device could get caught out here. They do not know that Plopski is so damn deep. I don't even know how he's here. Dupree is in main. Magisk is in pop. Plopski, I guess, sli slipped his way past the smoke. If you deal with him, they try and get it back under control. It's a nice bit of damage done by Magisk. And man, every time you think NIP have got an edge, every time they get something going their way, it is just cancelled out by Astralis. Nork with the Krieg. And obviously, oh, s oh, no. got it. Oh, oh dear. dear. Oh, that's the, that's dear. the fear. That's the worry with a Krieg. You give it to a CT side train player. Man, this is the map that made people realize the org was good. So now the Krieg, yeah, okay, nerfed indeed, yeah, but I do still think that dangerous. Nerfed sense, well, we should refer to it as the Craig. Yeah, the Craig. Craig. Yeah. yeah. Well, also, I mean, it's not like we haven't seen players picking up an AUG lately. I mean, even justified by, if not, one of the best players in the world, if not the best player in the world, and simple. And showing us how it can be used still. How it still has validity. Also, I'm Kara V is watching on a 60 inch 4K TV with his home theater system up, and he wanted you all to know that. And he has sent a picture in. Cool flex, but okay. Weird. It, it's a weird flex, but I respect it. And we've got S tag with the Craig over towards Upper B, and he might get tested by Rez. Now, the rest of NIP, they're spilling out into this A site. Can Astralis get them back under control? Because Plopski has dealt with Glaive down towards Ivy. So that's going to make Astralis kind of pull back into this more passive hold. NIP, they're so worried, right? Because every single time they've sprinted into this A site, it has just been to like a, an utter car crash of a result every single time, you know? So they slow it right down into this four on four, knowing that Astralis are kind of feeling a bit of pressure here and that the rotations are gonna be all over the place. Hampus with the Deagle, S-Tag with the Craig, and here it is. Big Craig tag. What can he do? There's a bit of damage. That's one. Res there as well. The Molly might force him out into the open, and indeed it does, but S-Tag's already moved 
off of the angle. Will he be ready for someone out Ivy? He thinks he mollied it, but he didn't. Ooh, Rez yeah. is deep. S tag does get bested. There's the turnaround from Magisk, and it's all back under control. Nork left in the clutch again, but this time a 1v3 to find, and he can't. Dupree has been everywhere, man. Everywhere that NIP don't expect. Fast crossing pop inside of TCOM with that deep smoke denying presence. He's been the multi-kill man in the CT side for Astralis. And oh God, that is, oh dear. Where's the scope gone? I don't really know with that perspective, but yeah. S-Tag with one on the Krieg. I, I hope someone picked it up. I want to see more I of that on the did. CT side. It did. did. Nice. Shout out Mad just one time. Astralis, man, they're running the board. 10 to 2. No signs of stopping. No signs of even slowing down. And NIP, no matter what they do, they can't even get into A. The B plays have been, get, uh, been getting retaken every single time as well. NIP, a quick pause before the action resumes. Take the pause out of NIP, but you cannot take the round from Dupree. 10 to 2. And they continue to climb upwards. The trajectory, the stonks, all aim towards the ceilings. To the stars, maybe. Maybe even to the stars, Hugo Byron. Astute observation from the young Brighton lad. Orb for Nork again, needing a lot from him here. Hampus has gotten through the Molotovs, but on the other side of the Molotov is another Molotov and Device. He's there as well, peeking behind the sandwich, taking a bite out of this round. And Hampus, everything he's tried to get out of Tcon every single round has just been getting denied by Astralis. They are so ready to deal, to deal with him. They know what tricks he's up to. This is S-Tag's moment. This is it. This is the Krieg spray down. We never knew we would get in 2020. Craig is out for the lad, and here he is, holding down ramp. Flash goes in, but S-Tag faces it head on. And, well, he meets a pretty grim fate, but inside of the site, it's not mopped up by Glow. Oh, no! Magis oh. tries to get it back under control, and he does get away with a lot of damage. But Nork, holding the line, leaves it all onto Device. Both these players are one shot away from death. Device's AK hits like an AWP right now. Rez trying to cross back to behind the gray tray. Oops, spotted. That Molly yeah. might ruin Rez's day. Forces him out of position. He just swings it, though, and takes the fight straight up. NIP, they do salvage that round as they put three on the board. Still a chance at a 5-10 half, and that could be recoverable for the Swedes. Yeah, nice. Astralis just missing their shots there on the B-bomb site. Two players holding it down. One from the spools just absolutely bottles it. And then even Magis gets so much damage off, but only one or two kills from it. Could have been a 4K mow down on the ramp. Great utility from NIP mostly, though. It was set up pretty nicely there for Charles, you could tell. It was just without being in reach. For us, at least. We're almost done with this first half of the train, which has gone by swimmingly fast. Trace, are you in the other room right now? No, does it sound like it? <laughs> nah, it's Sorry, it's my good. ears get a little sweaty when the games get this close, so... Well, this one ain't close right now. So I, I would hate to see what happened if we got into OT. Profusely sweating. Talking... One of those Pepe's. I don't know which one it is. Monk S, there we go, that's the one. Wet ear fans around the world. Give myself a wet willy with perspiration. That's something to think about it, ain't it, Hugo? I'd rather not. <laughs> well. <laughs> Close to Egon B. Here come NIP. Yep, that's tag with oh, the Eagle. Hey. In with one, but that is it. A little bit of damage onto Twist. Nothing really to write home about here for Astralis. And this time, they're not so quick to fight. Instead, Device is waiting for rotations. Twist has already pushed up for oil. Now he's been spotted, and Device is going to deal with him. Man advantage back in favor of the Danes. Now another man of oil is Plopski, and he's put up a kill, but his little feet, his little tippy toes give away that position. Nork in the sight with the AWP. He's a man on top Ooh. of the gray train, but now they're getting a little bit danger close, and Nork, yeah. none of the shots connecting. Hampus gonna molly the bomb. They are on it. It would be the full 10 second defuse, and Glaive is just sticking it. Hampus spray it. Oh no, well, 10 seconds! 10 seconds! Fuse for Astralis. Glaive just staying on the bomb, even with his teammates falling. And that there is the ultimate middle finger to the Swedes. Yeah, Hampus Campus in that situation. Not a whole lot he could do, but get taken to school here from Astralis. Good stick. 
what has ultimately brought us to the last round of the half. Yeah, was that smoke from Device and his dying breath as well? He was the only one I saw with utility. Maybe it wasn't coming out from Old Train right before he died, but just thrown on for Glaive and allows him to stick it in the smoke. That's mad. And just added to the list for Astralis. 11 to 3. They've gotten away with so many cheeky rounds. Glaive with another one in Pop Dog. It's a fast play for an IP into 2 3. They go, and he's always good for two, it feels like, in this A site. This round looks to be done in an instant. Device makes it so, and Astralis don't make it close. It's 12 to 3, dominant stuff on their CT side. We'll see if this one continues or if it's going to be a short story for NIP. Join us after the break. Sadly, Sarah has left us, and with that, she's taken the lyrics. Oh, there's a couple words. Anyway, welcome back, everybody. 12-3, we see Astralis dominating, pushing these Swedes around as if they have no business in the server. And right now, they might not. 12-3 is pretty indicative to how this game has gone thus far. We see Plopsky stepping up in the absence of what Rez left shadowed from the last map. And then over on the Astralis side, well, they're just doing the damn thing. My name's Trace. I got Harry and Hugo here with me. and ready to jump back into it. What will this pistol round hold? Harry Russell. Well, right now, it's looking like Astralis want to go fast into the A site, and they are going to have to put up quite the fight here down towards Ivy. Nork holds on to begin with, but there's more where that came from. Plopsky spotted in the corner, dealt with by Estag, and now following up with another kill to his name. Ivy locked down by Astralis. 
And we're into a three on three. Now, moving through the B site is Rez. He's creeping his way in through upper. Twist has been holding pop as well. Hampus, they've given him a lot of responsibility. They're like, right, Hampus, you're watching main, Ivy, CT, Rap, Connector. You just worry about these five places, and we've got pop, the two of us, together. We'll hold that one. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what Hampus can do. They've given him a lot to keep an eye on. He's done well to dodge death thus far. But when Astralis are in the server, it could come knocking pretty quickly. Sees Magisk back in main. Now looking for anything else. Twist is here to help out if Hampus needs. And he... Yeah, yeah, there's no helping him now, is there? Glaive going up into the site. Hampus doesn't realize this is weird. Glaive doesn't know either. Ooh. And so Hampus will get the better of him. Now late from Ivy is S tag in with a third. The smoke goes down over here yeah. towards Pop. And luckily enough for Ooh, an IP, he's missed. That there might have just bailed them out of this pistol round because now they're in this 2v1 thanks to that missed smoke from S tag. He's going to try and run the gauntlet into CT. Is this going to end on the B site? This is the weird. Weirdest pistol I've seen in a little minute. All the way in through CT. Now into B. S tag with the plant at least. The bomb on his back. And even then, Ooh, yeah, he dear. took those extra few seconds. And that might cost him dearly. Yeah, he was thinking someone heard him and went back for the fight. But that's allowed time for them to get into the site. NIP wait around for no one. And a quick kill from Twist does secure that round. NIP realized that at the point where there's 15 seconds and you don't know where S tag is, if he's not planting on A already, he's running B. And so that realization drops for NIP and they get into the right site. That's a shame, right? The miss smoke costs Astralis the round single-handedly. Even though NIP could, could have gone through it anyway, it doesn't let Magis get out from main. And he was the one question mark for NIP in that round. They didn't know where he was. So there was a chance for Astralis, but a nice pistol from S-Tag nonetheless. Three kills and a bomb plant. Astralis likely will just force into the second and try and get this one over with quickly. Even when NIPs have won pistols in this series, Astralis have often responded with a force by victory of their own. Do they want to wait around, though, is the question. Well, so something that's kind of interesting is that NIP, they've won three out of four pistol rounds in this series, and they haven't found conversions in any that they've won thus far. So this being that third pistol that they've been able to pick up, can they finally get a conversion? Because if they don't, this could be all over, right? Yep. And that's not just me like, yeah, well, you know, it it's can like happen, it see. can happen. Like, you know, you can win with the with the Force Buy. Like, no, Astralis have been winning with the Force Buy. Every Every single time, to be exact. So now you really need to break that streak because you can't have Astralis feel that comfortable as well. Like, think about what that's done to the confidence in these four spies. You don't even know what losing them feels like yet if you're Astralis. Oh. S tag with the peak on these AKs. There's two twin AKs there actually for Astralis. Then we look at device on a Galil. Deagles to follow. You talk about those four subs, let's see what they've got. This tag is just claiming a lot of attention for himself. It's going to be Plopsky to best him from the top of the blue train. And that's going to be one AK out of the fight pretty damn early on, too. Dupree taking some damage as he's just kind of baiting this AK. Yeah, worth noting, I'm going to read a stat that Ezio wrote on Twitter the other day. It's stolen. He said that Astralis is 6 out of 6 on Force Buy rounds, less than 12k equipment value on Pro League on Nuke. That was obviously on a different map, but... Yeah, even though that was broken right after he tweeted it, as is often the case, that just goes to show how many of these forces Astralis do win. But right now, the double peak is a problem, a predicament for Astralis. They can't predict success in this one device alone. Big clutch to be had, and it's not going to get given over. NIP do deal with the AKs, and that is a great start because Astralis have given them rifles, and NIP now reaping the rewards with four alive. They've got the money. We've got a big comeback to perform, but Astralis on Eco in this 18th upcoming round? Well, that's the chance for an IP. We all have to start somewhere for Nip. It's better late than never, they say. Pistols for the side of Astralis. That's going to be three blocks to be exact. Four o'clock. The old bash flying up, coming down for Glaive into the B-bomb site. Campus Ooh. has support as well. 
That made could have been deadly, but sadly just misses the timing. So no one even takes damage from it. They're ready to go out upper. Oh boy. This is about to be grimy. Yeah, there's no there's no comm player. So Nork has to do this all alone. The flash. Oh, oh goodness. Yeah, it does not get them in. Glaive on the Glock has taken down one, but surely that's where his journey gets cut short. He's onto the burst fire, trying to put it to good use. Respect. Glaive with the jumping burst. Doesn't go his way, unsurprisingly, perhaps. Well, the buyback is on the table. The gun buy for Astralis. We're going to start calling them that, ironically, and then it will just become the go-to. Yeah. And then, like, you know, in a year's time, when everyone's referring to them as gun buys, we'll only have ourselves to thank. There are guns or blame. they have bought, so I don't think there's a better definition for it, but we'll see. We got our experts on the case. Probably not here, They're not available. No worries. Us and Stem. Mad just right out of main. And already catching Rez crossing pop as well. There's an AWP on this B bomb site. Two there for NIP, and they're pushing. They're getting that info quickly, but there's S Tag holding on. He will be dropped. Dupree now out deep. And if he stays on the sneak, he might have Twist caught. He wasn't ready for a man so far up. Plopsky is the one performer in this game, but he's already out of the round. Magis finds him as the smoke fades. And now all over A is Astralis. This double inner play didn't aggress any further than killing S Tag. And Astralis seem aware. They're not scared of the flank. They've smoked Pop Dog. And Magis will hold it, but the rest of them, oh, they've already got the info. Hampus coming in for the jiggle, dead. Magis will clean up the round. Three from the in game leader, and Astralis on 13. Boy, oh boy, they just don't give away any chances, do they? Man, I've never had my feelings hurt, but I can imagine it felt something like that. So are we back at the time where Astralis just win everything yeah, again? Yeah, I think so. It doesn't just feel like it, is it? Oh, all right. <laughs> I guess, no, man, this Astralis is actually really fun to watch as well. Like, uh, you know, they've, they've looked this dominant all by all while bringing like a new brand of CS to the forefront of their organization, which is pretty cool. Uh, you know, they didn't have to reinvent the wheel. They've done it anyway. Just had to win like 10 majors or something like yeah. that. So. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, that's how does S-Tag even get that? He was that's moving. He was blind. It was through a smoke. If I'm Plopsky, that's it. I'm out there for it. I'm hanging up my mouse and keyboard for the rest of my days. S-Tag trying to put up more pain outside, but it's him to get dealt the rough hand. And now the B play from the rest of Astralis comes on in. Down through the ramp, it's Dupree with the opener. Glaive very, very deep, and he flashes himself in. Does deal with Rez. And now for the rest, Twist and Nork, the double AWP. They're just saving. Yeah, 14 to 6. And you can tell when Astralis can turn the pace up, when they have the weapons, when they're getting kills via S-Tag outside that really you're going to report in your local matchmaking game for sure. You can just see how the round pans out towards the end. Also, Sponge, if you are watching, there is no shame in eating Maccas or McDonald's to the rest of us common folk. Boom. 14. Two more for Astralis, and we're done with this series. This is going to be such a quick one if they can con uh, can continue. That's quite the mouthful. But Astralis are chewing down on their opponents pretty easily. Not much resistance on this CT side. The pistol, the conversions for a change for NIP in this series, but that's all they have to show for it. Well, that's a sick ponytail up there in the front, bottom left. We had our MIBR t-shirt guy up at the top, but he wasn't playing bass this time. That's the first time I've seen him without a guitar in his hand. So we only know what he looks like via a shirt still. I'm guessing it's him. Hmm. Hmm. Well, a timeout from Nip is going to leave them wondering if maybe perhaps Harry was right. They should hang up their rifles and pick up the bass guitar. Touring back. I remember saying that, man. Yeah. I remember that. That was like one of my finer points. And like a ballpoint pen, a finer point. Exactly, man. I'm, yeah, I always get compared to pens. Uh, I'm trying to think like, of a way to make this funny. The pens, maybe? <laughs> there you go, Trace. Oh, I can always rely on you, man. Yeah, you know me. Just a walking Comedy Central over here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> okay, that's kind of crazy. Is Nork and Twist <laughs> with the double AWP? 
And they are looking to oh. save NIP. They are going to have to save NIP. You don't even get a choice as to whether or not you're the hero here. Y your future's predetermined. You've got to be the hero. And if you're not, then you're zero on NIP. Plopski down in the pot, mollied and smoked out of it. He's going to hide in this smoke. Try and come alive once Astralis move in for the kill. McGlave. He's not a dumb man. Um. He's seen this a hundred times before. In fact, he came up with this move. And Plopski trying to use it against him. They're both just waiting. There's the peak and they do deal with him. Device wall banged res as well. Don't know where that happened, but it did. Where Ooh, was that? Through main. He, he, oh. yeah. I don't know if he was peeking or not, but dear, oh dear, the orf and nork, it's no scoping up close. It's calling for desperate measures. Oh, does hit a follow-up shot through the smoke. And now a player coming out of main as well with the bomb. Dupree backs off. He doesn't want to give it up. Twist is double scoped. It's a mess. And Glade falls into the firing line. As quick as it becomes a problem, it's already over as Astralis find 15. They're already in connector. They're everywhere. They're in your nightmares. And they're certainly on the board here with one round away from closing this series. I said I wanted NIP on that T side of, uh, of train. I said it was a good thing. I, I, I thought maybe they could show us something, but three separated rounds in the first half. That might be all they have in the second as well. Plus, that was your prediction. So I guess time's a ticking, Hugo. Yeah, Trace, I mean, what can you do, man? Yeah, that's what I said. Here comes Dupree. He's made it all the way to Olaf, but again, Molotovs. Everybody Ooh, is going to yeah. be playing barbecue. <laughs> No smokes. They already threw them out over A, so Astralis actually couldn't save him with that one, like dropping utility to help him out. This could be a round win for NIP. As weird as that is to say, the low buy has found two kills. S tag finding twist through the smoke. Popsky hiding in sandwich. Nork still in heaven, just trying to dictate damage, but it's not coming his way. Hampus on the flank might knife device, but he turns around the sixth sense, and he actually does get dropped, but at least denies the blade. Seven for NIP, they hold on by the skin of their teeth. It's certainly going to three maps now if I've ever seen it. <laughs> it's quite the statement. <laughs> You're right. Look at this statement. Yeah, he wanted the knife. Don't tell me otherwise. It's even more awkward inner, you know? Like, uh, I think it was Plopsky inner just trying to, you know, stay alive. People running into each other. It's so fast paced, so chaotic. Chat's <laughs> moving so fast, they'll never know that. Exactly. They'll never know. <laughs> the Molly's in main finally coming through for an IP, and they put a stop to this annoying presence that Astralis have had there. Every time they've tried to cross a player into pop, it just hasn't gone their way. Because the peaks always come through, and he more often than not is dealt with. In this round, it was device to open. And so Astralis easing into this round in a five on four. Hampus oh is trying to make it worthwhile, trying to go for an aggro peak. And he does live to tell the tale. Plopski, even on the pop dog. Plop dog, maybe. As he looks to take this round into his own hands. Dupree left at main. Hampus peeking, didn't oh see dear. anything, but they're already down the ramp. They're already in B. And so Hampus returns to a pretty unwelcoming sight. Bomb now going down inside of the B side of the map, and Dupree can still come in on this late lurk through main into the back line. So a lot of this now rests on the shoulders of Plopski. What can he do? He is the top performer by a big margin for an IP. And now more than ever, he's got to show us why. He's in with a double, but Glaive and Dupree still oh, standing, no. still fighting. Plopski doesn't know where the second man is, thinks he might be upper, but he's not. He's wrapping in through main, coming in from behind. Plopski might get shot in the back and indeed he does Dupree there to wrap it up and Astralis they make this a very quick 2-0 indeed the Danes 